Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my first post on Patreon, where we're going to go a little bit deeper into the workings of our yard here at the foot of Windermere, um, the kind of kit we use for the various different types of travelling we do, whether that's wild camping pack pony treks with pack saddles, or whether that's uh, travelling, two-wheel, four-wheel vehicles, how we deal with camping out, tethering ponies. Um, so this is Teddy. We call him Teddy because he looked like a teddy bear when he was younger. His full name is Little Pearl, out of Haytill Lucky Pearl by Haytill Geronimo. A uh, two-year-old, just had him gelded ten days ago, so he's still in his own little isolation quarantine. Uh, here's Pansy, Haytill Pansy, same mum as Teddy, so she's out of Haytill Lucky Pearl. Pansy's a seven-year-old mare. Um, she had a foal last year, so she didn't do anything last year. And before that, she's done various adventures. She went off with uh, Claire Dyson for a month all around the Western Lakes. Uh, anyway, she's one of my best. So today, we're going to have a little tiny mini adventure just to uh, show you how all the kit works. When we first started doing this, we were using what we call a Pennine pack saddle, which is pretty much the same used all around Europe until tractors came in, really, in the early 20th century which were a um, wooden arch frame. Um, but the last year I got some kit from Canada, we've imported all our kit from Canada, where they've carried on developing pack saddle technology. So now we're using uh, lightweight cast aluminium frames, fiberglass pads. Um, so here we go with the full rig. So we've got um, a heavy felt pad, like a big numner. Um, bridging, same as you'd have for a driving horse, this stops everything slipping um, forwards when you're going uh, downhill. And then on this side we've got a breast, breast collar which stops everything falling back when we're going uphill, keeps everything in place breast pad there, just the same as for driving harness and then we've got some these girths, what they, what they call cinch actually, I think it's uh, probably South America, I'm not sure exactly, uh, cinch, and they're a wide cinch and that comes back, one at the front, one at the back, um, we want to get these reasonably tight um, because we don't want to be uh, stuck in every 10 minutes to to tighten stuff up. Um, what we find always is the ponies breathe out when you're putting them on. So we will have to stop probably in 10 minutes, five minutes maybe just when we get up the road and um, just give it a little hitch, another extra hitch in to keep it tight. So I want to go back there, just behind the, behind the belly but not too far back. And then um, you come in here and have a look at this. Use a quick release half hitch. Use lots of quick release knots just to make sure we can get out of trouble quickly if we need to. And there it is, simple as that. And then we've got these uh, fiberglass boxes which are made to fit the side of the horse. Um, normally we could carry up to 20% of a fell pony's weight, and these ponies are about. Um, 400 kilograms, so that means we can carry maximum load about 80 kilograms on a horse and um, the pack saddle kit is about 12. Um, usually we're carrying about uh, 25 in each box full weight and today we're much much less than that. So I usually weigh stuff, weigh stuff to make sure it's balanced. Um, so a quick weigh here. So this box here is you can just see that, um, about 14 kilograms in there today. Same on the other side, so it's 30 and about 12, 15. So we're doing about 30, um, 45 kilograms today. So half the weight. And the pack saddle's just hook on like that. Simple. And one around here. There we go. 
and we're all ready to go. Um, last little thing, if you want to have a look here. Uh, it's much more laid back than driving ponies. Just a simple rope halter, which gives you lots of control. You're really connected to that. It's better for the ponies for this kind of job. It means they can have a little munch along the way if they want to, because they've not got a bit in their mouth. Um, and there we go. All ready to go. See you in a bit. So, um, a bit more about what we're going to do here on Patreon. I'm still going to be posting all the regular stuff on Facebook and Instagram, but I'm just going to go a bit more, a bit more behind the scenes not just the stuff that works, I'm going to show you stuff that isn't working because it doesn't always go right um, but uh, it's all really about what goes on behind the scenes getting ponies ready, all the groundwork uh, so the pack saddle treks, what's in the boxes? Uh, people ask me what we're carrying if they see me out so with a... if I'm taking out a group of let's say six people, small family group we'd have four ponies and there'd be a mountain leader and a couple of horse handlers on my team so you don't have to have any experience at all but we'd have a couple of hard, hard sets of boxes like these and a couple of soft bags, pack saddle bags these purple boxes, one of them has a kitchen and one of them has all the horse tackle so in the kitchen box there's a charcoal stove pots and pans, knives, forks, plates, stuff like that and in the other side there'll be all the horse tackle which would be tethers There'll be tether pins, hammer, brushes, tools, first aid kit, water filters, purifiers, that kind of thing. And then with the other ponies, there'll be essentially one other pony carrying all the food. So that's um, three meals a day for three days. And because we've got a proper kitchen, we do proper good food. And then there'll be a couple of ponies carrying tents and all the bedding, sleeping bags, liners, uh, we carry these nice Welsh tapestry blankets to make sure everybody's nice and warm. Uh, so that's what we're going to be carrying. So we're just going to have a little walk up to the top of one of the local fells here where we do a one night wild camp. And we're just going to go and get a few pictures actually because uh, there's been no ponies on in that field for a few weeks now and the grass will be growing. And there's a beautiful view of Coniston, the little man of Coniston when we get there. Okay. This is what we call Harry Walker's Field here, which is 17 acres, overlooks the lake, and it's actually part of an old uh, pack horse route here. You can see the route behind us winding its way up the side of the hill, it goes through uh, the woods and the forest up here and over to Kendall. So we're actually retracing footsteps of uh, pack horses. Yaggers, you used to call them, Yagger men, drovers from hundreds of years ago. So we've made it to the top, looking down over the lake, just, just see the tip of the lake and Coniston, whole man of Coniston over there. So I just want to um, finish off this little video by just saying if there's anything you want to know, particularly about any of the kit we use, maybe something about the breeding, about our herd, about fell ponies in general, and drop us a message, get in touch, and um, we'll see what we can do. Um, thanks for watching, speak to you soon. <laughs> <laughs>